Nutribates, day in the life of Nutribates. It's a hive for activity. Right from first thing in the morning, we've got uh, couriers delivering to us, whether it could be ingredients, packaging, pop-up pots, labels, it's a constant delivery all day. Move on to picking and packing orders. We've got orders going out across the UK daily. We've got orders going worldwide weekly. And then we're servicing our distribution centre in France on a monthly basis. We're keeping high levels of stock within the UK and across Europe. it on to Jason. Jason will take you around the factory, show you what happens in Ultravates, from making base mixes right through the rolling department to orders being bagged, packed, ready to go out to yourselves. So the ingredients that we use here in our base mixes at Ultravates, we source ingredients from all over the world. Um, they're absolutely the top quality, finest ingredients that we can get our hands on. Some of those ingredients we will not actually buy in in bulk, we will bring in in smaller quantities so we use it a fresher product, be it milk proteins and things like that. The base mixes are produced in, in scale, um, we, we try and stick to one range a week but it's not always possible. Um, when it comes to making the base mixes we are producing 800 kilos to a, a, a ton of base mix at a time. That comes down to weighing ingredients out into the kilos and grams. And some ingredients are you are, are weighed in grams um, because there, there's su such fine, minute scale of it works or it doesn't work. So everything is weighed specifically and then goes into our big mixer which we'll, we'll do about six, seven mixes and we'll turn that over, it's fresh and all the base mixes are turned over fresh every week. So the production of the baits, um, every Thursday we get a fresh egg supply of thousands of eggs and that's every Thursday. They come in, the process, de shell the mix, the whist and then they go into the containers and we store them. Um, and then what we need we take out for the following day or the following couple of days and we go up there. So then we got so we do the we've got the food packages. Every single product has got a different food package of a different blend. Um, all key or top ingredients, hydrolysis, enzymes, aminos. You'll know we nutribates with the uh, nutri and the multi and the hydros, the only key carp catching ingredients go into these so these get blended with the eggs okay when we've got everything's weighed out specifically um, be, uh, the essential oils will be down to like millimeter uh, mills um, obviously we do everything in volume um, everything goes into the mixer the eggs go in there we add the base mix till we get the right consistency um, it's all done by feel it's because every mix it extrudes differently, it rolls differently depending on the time of the year. Um, the weather inside, outside. Um, once we've got the right consistency, we put it into the extruder. Now, we start the extruder off slowly, that goes onto the rolling line, be it the 12, 15, 18, or 20 mil. We have two separate uh, rolling lines in here for the uh, bulk shelf life and freezer baits, and then we have a separate line for the pop ups. There you go through, we can produce, well, it all depends, it depends, like I said, on, on numerous factors, on what base mix it is. Certain ones extrude differently, um, different texture, um, different size. Um, obviously, we, the bigger the bait, the more we can produce, the smaller the bait, the less we produce. And then so that's the reason why most companies reflect that in the, in the price range as well, uh, because of cost of production. Um, the smaller the bait, you produce less and it takes more man hours. Um, that goes through the rolling lines you see into the trays. Those trays then go into the uh, steaming racks, which then will be transferred 
into the steamers. Now the key point in with the steaming is that it starts at 80 degrees. We do not denature, we do not lose loss of ingredients or quality. Like with the boiling, you can see when you boil baits, you know the colour of the water straight after you've done a couple of pans worth. You know, it's black and that is where your money and that's where the key ingredients are. Um, with steaming, we get very, 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 very little colour loss, flavour loss. And then, like I said, the key to that is 80 degrees. There's a lot more, I, I see online now that a lot more people are, are, are turning to steaming. They can see the advantages of it. There's a big debate about steaming versus boiling, but it's a no-brainer, steam. Steam and start at 80 and work your way up with your timings. Like I said, the timings aren't far off conventional boiling times. I won't give the timings away because it's taken us a hell of a long time to get that right. Um, and then out they come, straight out into it, into the trays, and the trays go into the drying room. If it's freezer bait, it's generally 24 hours before it's bagged. If it's shelf life bait, it's 48 hours and it's bagged, but that's in our temperature controlled drying room. So once the baits are ready, they come out of the, uh, the drying room and into our bagging room. Now, it doesn't matter how busy we are, we're, we're, we, we, those baits have to be bagged, there's no compromise on the quality. So we know when they get to the right um, time scale on them, we bring them out straight into the bagging room and they will either be uh, bagged into one kilo or five kilo bags or... If you look on the back of the bags, you'll see a label and it tells you exactly what's in the bag, what's the percentages, more or less without giving the uh, recipes away for each mix, but it's important that you know what you're buying and what you're paying for. Finally, we'd like to talk about product development. It's an ongoing process. Because we're an, Im an importer and exporter from the UK, We've got manufacturers worldwide that send us samples. Always going to be the latest wonder bait that's going to make a huge difference to cart fishing. Half the ingre these ingredients don't make the cut. I will go beyond that. 90 to 95% of these never make the cut. Not fit for purpose for ourselves. The few that do make it through go into what we class as development. Occasionally we get two or three ingredients that will eventually go into a bait. At least 50% of these never see the light of day. There's, but the product development starts in-house, we do all the usual tests until we are satisfied and this can take up to two years to get it to a field testing time where we have a close-knit group of field testers, in-house loyal guys who go out there, test them. To destruction. They test them on all the waters, different type of waters, right from your public waters, your commercial waters, your runs waters, your campaign waters. They're tried across all and will never ever progress from this stage till we are 100% happy with the finished result.